this is Forest Hill Falls. We've been here before. We might hike it again, but we're looking for another one to do. Why are waterfalls so pretty? Look at a big slug. He's my friend. And the guys are leaving. Look at that pool. The guys didn't want to come down here with me. Hey guys. So in this video, I want to talk about how my training has changed, going from focusing on powerlifting to now focusing on my bodybuilding. Um, obviously, I still have all three of the main movements in there, squat, bench, and deadlift, but I am doing variations of my competition lifts and a lot more repetitions. And now that I'm doing a lot more reps and getting ready for my bodybuilding shows, I really make sure that I can feel the stretch and contraction of the muscles that I'm targeting with my exercises. Another couple of things that I incorporate into my training getting ready for a bodybuilding show are drop sets and supersets and burnout sets, things like that. Even some AMRAP sets really to get in more reps and push myself mentally and in a different way. Obviously, lifting really heavy weight is challenging, but lifting light to moderate weight for as many reps as you possibly can is also really challenging, and it is also less taxing on your body, which brings me back to the fact that I am working on better recovery, and right now I just don't need to lift all of the weight, so there's really no need to put all of that stress on my body. Even though I may not be lifting as heavy of weights as I would during a meat prep, that doesn't mean that I'm not pushing myself and challenging myself week to week and day to day. Um, I obviously am still going to lift as much weight as I possibly can for that day, but because there are variations and a lot more reps and sets, I naturally won't be able to go as heavy as I would if I only had to do one or two reps. An important thing to keep in mind while you're training during a contest prep or a cut phase is that as your calories drop and as you get leaner, 
your energy levels and strength levels are going to drop a bit. So all you can do is just make sure that you are feeling yourself properly, um, obviously listening to your coach and just getting into the gym and doing the very best that you can. Push as hard as you can and just focus on your goal. Sounds super weird with my headphones on. It's Wednesday, June 7th. I can't believe it's already June. Um, I Today's my deadlift day. But the way Tony and I are training right now is the powerlifting movements are not our main priority. So we do like pre-exhausting exercises um, before that. So I started off with the abductor and adductor machines and then now I'm doing um, the heck, pitch shark squats um, or belted squats and then I'll be moving on to my deadlifts so it's a little bit different it's actually a lot like bodybuilding um, I would start off with like leg extensions and leg curls and then move on to like a heavier movement like squats or like really heavy leg press um, but yeah, so I am looking forward to kind of going through this block and just seeing the results that come from it. And then also really working on keeping my strength. I've mentioned that numerous times. Um, so I need to make sure that I'm still pushing in the gym even though the main lifts aren't my priority. I need to give it my all, just like my belt says. So I'm excited to challenge myself strength-wise because in the past I didn't really, I mean I liked to be strong, but once I started prep I didn't really care. It was just all about looks, but I worked so hard to put on the size and I don't want to just diet it away. And one of the biggest ways of not dieting it away is continue to train the way you did when you put on all of the muscle. So I'm going to train hard and lift as heavy as I can for the day. And Justin just lowered my calories a little bit and increased my cardio. So it's only been like three weeks or two and a half weeks, something like that. We've had a lot of changes, but he said that this is probably where it's going to be at for a while. Um, I have some really low days, but I still have that one really, really high day um, with a cheat. So it'll be fun to keep that in and just start seeing some progress. Uh, the first few weeks of prep are always really hard because the body doesn't really change too much. It takes time, but I want to see the changes. So I just have to stay patient and keep doing what I do best and the results will come. So stay tuned, you guys. One last thing that I want to mention, and I actually mentioned it in a previous video, is taking shorter rest periods. I set a timer on my phone, so I take the rest that I need and then get right back to work. This is just going to help keep that heart rate elevated so you can burn some more calories during your workout and you get through the session a little bit quicker, which is a good thing because now on some of my workouts, I have cardio. So of course, I've got to get that done. Thanks for watching you guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye.